She could actually see see things and that freaked her out. The minute I turned off the light, she screamed. She was like, oh no! And then I felt hair like uh, sweeping my left cheek up and down. You're listening to Haunted Hour. Real ghost stories from real people. Yo, yo, yo. Hey, everyone. Welcome to Haunted Hour, man. <laughs> Welcome to Haunted Hour. I'm your host, Indra Sahib. And I'm your host, Noel Boyd. Welcome to a good Friday of horror and paranormal Yeah, man. We went around last week, right? <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. How, how, how's, how's the week been, been for you so far, man? Well, last week was crazy. I mean, I couldn't get to the studio on time because okay. I moved. Mm. From Bukit Batok all the way to to the east side. Yeah, yeah. So that was just busy, you know. Uh, moving is never fun. Yeah, true. Yeah, true, true. But uh, moving into a new place is fun. Really? I mean, with the with a new environment, lah. Yeah, I mean, like a whole new experience, right? Yeah, yeah. But how's your family coping so far? Okay, okay. Uh, they are settling well. Um, my wife is doing well. My daughter turned one year old today. Hey, yeah. happy birthday <laughs> to this. Molly. <laughs> okay, okay. Now, uh, I, just, I just have to do it. Uh. <laughs> thank God for just doing the first part of the song and then <laughs> not going on. Yeah, man. If not, if, if not, the song will be cursed, man. Yeah. Like tonight's Show. episode, man. Yeah, the, the curse. curse. <laughs> uh, we got a very special guest here in the studio today. Yeah, who, 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 who? Who, uh? who uh? <laughs> <laughs> You better know her, bro. You know, you be sleeping on the sofa. Mind, you can do the introduction. Really? No, no, no. You must do this. You must uh, do this. Why, why must I introduce her? Because she has a special place in your heart. Oh, really? Uh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Uh, tonight, we have a very special guest with us in the studio, right? Uh, uh, I, what? I'm a bit flattered a bit. Uh. <laughs> flattered? <laughs> sorry. Uh. <laughs> I, I, I actually feel sorry for her. I'm... <laughs> Okay, I'm not used of introduce, in, introducing my own wife. Huh? Okay, by the way, my my lovely wife is here with us tonight uh, on uh, Haunted Hour. So welcome, Shema Alka. Hello. Hey. Hello, Shema. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> so sweet. <laughs> For now. <laughs> yeah, man. I mean, more, more, more difficult questions will come huh? from Noel itself. Of course, of course. I got, I got so many questions, man. That I, I want to. But before, before that, before her. that, right? Uh, mm. Please do not forget, right? Uh, for those who are viewing this live uh, haunted hour podcast, please do not forget to like and share our podcast. Yeah, right you can now. do so right now, right? Mm. If your index finger is free, mm. I don't know whether you use your pinky. I doubt so, but then use your index finger. Okay, but he actually he's pointing to, to something up there. But yeah. <laughs> before we get to that, uh, yeah, like and share, man. Just mm. tap uh, to share this and so we get more viewers. And also, uh, we got buymeacoffee.com slash GFSTV that helps us to fund the show and mm. um, help us drink a bit more coffee yeah, to keep man. us awake. So Indra is going to point with his index, index finger. That's it. So once again, it's buymeacoffee.com slash GFSTV. Yeah. And uh, you have a shout out right now? Eh? Uh, I actually have a, a few. Um, I, I mentioned this like I think two weeks ago mm. that I'm doing a very special show. It's going to be in April. Uh, it's going to be the the four uh, Thursdays in April, starting mm. on the first of April. It is not a joke. It's not April Fools. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, it's called music and mental health. Yeah. This is the the poster for it. Uh, so it's going to be live on Facebook, and it's really really awesome. man. Uh, wow. we're going to talk Who- about. Hmm. about mental health and then we get to hear from musicians their struggles and uh it's going to be inspiring it's going to be it's going to be really good well yeah. nice yeah nice. we got um professionals coming in as well hmm. to to share their thoughts about well, mental health well well i'm so proud of you bro oh thank you bro yeah man it's not an easy topic to 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 bring forth to our community out there mm-hmm. at the same time i guess it's also it's also a big step for all of us here, right? Whoever whoever is involved to do it. Yeah, mm. uh, I think the 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 driving force is to get the word out. You know that uh, mental health it's not it shouldn't be a taboo that yeah. uh, 
it's something everybody should know about mm. um, because th- there's a very high chance with whatever that's happening in the world today yeah. that someone that's close to you uh, might be going through a, a really tough time. So we hope to share stories uh, that will inspire. Mm. Yeah, and, and another project that I'm involved in, I mean, we taped all, all the stuff already yeah. and it's called History Mysteries. The host is Adrian Pang. Wow! Yeah, yeah, and and we have got a good number of episodes for the first time on uh, on Channel Five. You get to see real ghost hunting, right? It's never been done before. We've got incredible tales, which is oh, you know, which is awesome. Mm. Uh, but you know, incredible tales are just stories, and for the first time ever, I'm ghost hunting. So that's going to be on the show. It comes out on the 31st of March on Me Watch, and then on Channel 5, it's going to be on the 7th of April at 10 p.m. And you can catch this on Channel 5 from uh, the 7th of April onwards. No one will be on TV. Yes, sir. Yay. <laughs> I, 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 won't, I won't watch it, but yeah. I want you to watch it. <laughs> And then and then Indra can, can watch it and, and my, me, me, be me a fanboy. Me and my wife will watch it, yeah, definitely. We will show you the spot. Cry not, Shema. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> she was so quiet. Yeah, compared to you. Yeah, I'm, I'm a bit. I know she she's very talkative. No, I don't want to steal anybody's thunder. I'm no, guess, so I'll be no, like you you today. you are the star of the <laughs> yeah. show for tonight. Yeah. yeah. Um, you used to be a a radio DJ, am I right? <laughs> yes, mm. yes. Uh, which station? Nine eight seven. Nine eight seven. Oh my wow, god! Wow, we the... have a radio DJ in the <laughs> studio. <laughs> underrated. Uh, underrated. Yeah. <laughs> Mm. So yeah, you can steal uh, our thunder <laughs> by, by all means. Okay, I want to ask you uh, a very serious question. Okay. okay How I know. is I know, Indra I know. I know like ask. as a husband? <laughs> Dang it. Next question, please. <laughs> I really want to know. Because I know him as a friend, right? I've known him for so many years. Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. how is he as a husband? Um, nerve-wracking. <laughs> <laughs> One word, actually. <laughs> Man, my life is like a roller coaster, right, man? Okay, uh, are you prepared, you know, to take that ride with me? No, actually, no. <laughs> I I want to tell you what what happened while you were sitting in here, right? Mm. So I I went out for a smoke, and then and then he asked you whether you wanted a drink, right, a, a warm drink, and then you said yes. He ended up making the the coffee for me first, <laughs> and then he made the drink for you, and then I asked him why, mm-hmm. and what do you say, bro? Uh, yeah, man. <laughs> The coffee will be served first because due to the tradition of the English, the coffee has always been served first before the hot chocolate. <laughs> no, no. Oh. <laughs> what what do you say to me? <laughs> you said a few words. Check, I want to check with the FMB people, you know, if, if, if it's, you know, yeah, if it's true. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> see, Noel think he can he can uh caught me off guard, no. But I'm I'm on guard okay, for you, tonight, brother. Do you want me to tell her what you said? <laughs> By all means. No, no, no. She will not believe you at all. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Oh, I, wow. I think I've I've been through worse, lah. So yeah, I think this this probably wouldn't bug me. <laughs> okay. Are you aware that uh, I bought your house for fifteen dollars? <laughs> huh? I don't understand. <laughs> You just have to bring this up during our live show. Uh. No, we have a joke. It's an inside joke. No, 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 it wasn't Noel. a joke. It was a serious it's a, it's, talk. It's an inside joke, Noel. Okay? It's a joke. <laughs> okay, yeah, no, I really don't get it. Okay, he, he's moving house, right? And he said, okay, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm looking for, uh, for a place. Lah. So yeah. I, I jokingly, jokingly uh, offered him, say, hey, Noel, you can, you can, buy, you can buy my place lah for $15. <laughs> Yeah, and then so we agreed that yeah. I'll buy your house in Pungol for fifteen dollars. Yeah, best deal ever, man. Even Muhammad Mustafa can can give me that kind of deal. Okay, uh, I think some of our viewers here they said, "Huh, I catch no ball. Buy house using fifteen dollars." Yeah, of course. Yeah, man, that's the current uh, market price right now uh, in Pungol. <laughs> Wow, it's a good deal. Uh, it's a good deal. $15. Yeah. Who want to buy? Mm. Right. No, yeah. nobody can buy because I, I bought it. <laughs> <laughs> so screw everybody else. Wow. I believe tonight we're going to have a great hell of a fun, man, for yeah. tonight's show. <laughs> yeah, we, <laughs> yeah. We will. Looking at uh, the pace at this beginning stage of yeah. this podcast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, what shall we talk about now? Terrifying 
Trivia. Trivia. All right, let's go. Uh, so, Indra, help me put this together, all right? Because I've had one hell of a day. Uh, we're going to talk about the human chessboard that is at St. John's Island. Now, St. John's Island was previously known as Pulau Sakjang. No, Sakijang. Mm. Pulau Sakijang Bandera. Mm. And it's one of the southern islands in Singapore. And it's very popular with, a, uh, with citizens for a weekend visit or even a short staycation at the holiday bungalow located on the island. Now, however, there are a couple of myths and facts about the island that many people may not know of. Um, one of them is that it used to be the site of a mass execution during World War II. Of course, we're talking about the Japanese Imperial Army. Mm. And if you have ever visited St. John's Island before, you would have seen a giant chessboard. And it's, it's right there, right? We are looking at a photo of it now. Uh, this chessboard is rumored to be where captors, uh, the Japanese, played games of chess using the prisoners of war, the POW. And when these human pieces were defeated, they would be beheaded on the spot. Oh my god. And this probably accounts for all the hauntings seen on the island. Wow. There have also been reports of screaming and crying at night and the sounds of marching boots. Mm. Now, it's possible to spend a night at St. John's Island for a short getaway. The holiday bungalow comes uh, furnished with a kitchen and sleeps up to 10 people. And it's only $53.50. Wow. Let's go. Let's go, man. Let's go. You can sleep up to 10 people, but then there will be two or three extra that you don't see. Yeah, (laughs) maybe a lot more. (laughs) I mean, okay, what? Okay, lah. The more the merrier, what? Exactly. <laughs> but we shouldn't bring children there. I'll, I'll yeah, tell you why soon. Yeah. Mm. Um, Sir Stanford Raffles uh, was believed to have been the first to anchor there. Um, and he's believed to have visited the island or for the very first time on the 28th of February, mm. 1819, before heading to mainland Singapore the next day. Wow. Yeah. Amazing, man. I, I've heard a lot of <laughs> stories about St. John's and for the longest time, we, we wanted to be able to do something there. But, you know, we've we never been able to get the permit because mm. previously... Oh, you, it, can't, you can't go there to ghost hunt? Um, you know, we, everything we do, we've got to get permits yeah, and such, yeah. right? Yeah. And it used to be managed by Sentosa. So obviously, Sentosa was against uh, paranormal investigations, ghost yeah. hunting, whatever you want to call it. Mm. So we couldn't... I think now it's under SLA, if I'm not wrong. State Land Authority. Yeah. Mm. No, Singapore, Singapore Land Authority. Oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> State Land Authority. Sorry. You just created your, your yeah. own government agency. Yeah. No, I, I just created my own agency. Since yeah. when does Singapore have states? Yeah. <laughs> wow, Indra. Wow. Okay. And by so, the way, that's spontaneous, okay? Yeah, I know. Yeah, so, um, but I've heard a lot of, of stories about this place because it's supposed to be very haunted. And mm. uh, they used to house um, um, people that, that were really sick. I can't remember what illness they had, but it was a like a quarantine area and a lot of people died there. Mm. And schools used to do their, their camps on the island. So I've spoken to old, really old teachers about this. Yeah. And all of them said it's haunted. And then I get people, I know people that have been to this one bungalow there. Yeah. And they say it's it's haunted as well. Yeah. Okay. Do do What kind of experience do they encounter there? Uh, is it like kind of like yeah, I, I, I similar think it's, similar to the story that we have just read or yeah I think it's exactly that like hearing screaming and, and shouting and yeah mm, wow yeah but I, I definitely want, want to visit this place one day but you know I, I wouldn't bring children mm. because children can see stuff and you know you yeah. wouldn't want to put them through something like this mm. like although it's very cheap <clears throat> I think there's a reason why it's only like $50 a day mm. yeah because why would you want to spend so much you know I think not just that. I think due to the uh, during the Japanese occupation, they used that place as a as a killing ground, right? Yeah. I think that is the reason why that place is one of the reason why it is so haunted. Yeah. Mm. Exactly. Crazy. I mean, yeah, lah, Like you said, children. a lot of uh, restless souls. Yeah. 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 Mm. And so many parts of Singapore is haunted because of the Japanese, right? Japanese because of whatever yeah. they did mm. during the war, whether it was right or wrong. I mean. I, I feel it's wrong then, you know, you've asked the Japs, they, they would they would justify why they did it. But yeah. yeah, just a lot of places in Singapore is haunted because of them. Mm, true. Yeah. And I think the suffering that people back then goes through, mm-hmm. right, is, is, is very tormenting. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. 
the killings and sudden deaths yeah. and you know um there's a lot of regret uh yeah and talking about sudden death right mm-hmm. sudden death also uh for for I men we will not know lah definitely but for whoever goes through a sudden death right definitely that particular soul is a unrest soul yeah am i right to say that okay yeah so and not just an unrest soul imagine during the japanese occupation a lot of these kampung villages right they are poor people mm-hmm. they they have been suf- they, they they suffered a lot they been tortured a lot mm-hmm. and at the end of the at the end of their life they have been killed mm-hmm. in a in a very i would say a sudden death lah okay right but that itself will cause them a lot of grief yeah. as a soul what I mean I've, I've I've yet to achieve things in my life and now I'm going through this kind of suffering yeah exactly and then you know there are loved ones that miss them they mm. they want to um say goodbye and you know that that's not possible yeah 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 what's your take on that shema <laughs> I don't, I'm not sure about paying attention. Okay, hey, I'm come not. on, man! I okay, I, I, I understand why. Here. I understand why because it's your husband talking. Okay, yeah, that's, that, that, there you go. There you go. <laughs> no, you know why? I was, I was more focused on his grammar. Oh man! <laughs> I'm just gonna drink my coffee. No, I I did get I did get a one. In English, during my N levels, I'm talking about N levels, ah, guys. I, 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 I think you bought your your set. Who do you buy it from? Okay, by the way, for our viewers, live viewers, right? Please do not forget to comment, right, uh, on our comment section. And if you have anything to ask, right, please do ask questions. Hey, that's my pen. Oh, that's a pen, ah. There and, you go. And you broke my pen. I, I did. Did I? Yeah. See, that's no, actually that's, one of the reasons. No, la. that's paranormal. <laughs> Married that life is paranormal. Okay. Don't trust him with things. <laughs> <laughs> Let yes. alone with people, lah. Okay. So, yeah. Next time, family members should be banned from the show. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> including, including our own sons and daughters. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we have a comment by uh, Panji. Hey, brother Panji. Mm, hello, Hantu Bros. Hello, hello. brother Panji. Mm. Yes. And then? Okay, that's all. I'm just trying to <laughs> deviate you all. <laughs> okay, we have an, we have the next segment to go to. Okay. Right? Which is real or fake. <laughs> yes. Let's do this, brothers. Okay, so this video is something Indra found. So, yep. of course, it's not going to be, be good. Uh <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's you will see a ghostly white figure, and this is spotted at a high security police station in New York City. The area is known to be locked and secured, which makes it impossible for anyone to pass through. Yeah. So this video was taken from a news channel that covered this story. Wow. You see that? You see that? Yeah. It's moving. It's moving. Guys, uh, so let us know if you think this is real or fake. So. We're gonna watch this again. Um, I'm wondering why, right? <clears throat> this this highly secured place has got such bad CCTV. Mm. Uh, so then it goes through, and then we will watch yeah, it true. one more time. Maybe maybe it's during the winter season, foggy, or what? You know, we we wouldn't know. Could be. Yeah. Are you sure it's New York City and not like some part of uh, it's New York of City. Indonesia? It's New York City, some a uh, 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 a police base, uh, in New York City. Okay, mm. it it looks like the perfect place to rob, if yeah. the CCTV is like this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, but uh, it, it definitely uh, things that within the vicinity is definitely uh, very highly valuable, right? Because it's highly security, whatever shit. Going on there, right? Yes. <laughs> so, what What do you guys think? Do you think this is real or, or is it fake? Uh, let us know in the the comments. Uh, Indra is going to read them out to you. <laughs> hey, nobody has bought us a coffee today, man. Yeah, man. For those who appreciate right our content, please buy us a coffee at www. I think maybe I'm me. the curse, lah. That's why nobody's <laughs> buying uh... the coffee. <laughs> Get out now! Get out! <laughs> okay, no, no. <laughs> okay, we have comment. We have comment. Yes, we have comment by our alama. 
uh, negative comment about me from uh, our viewer Colin Chiu say that hey Indra yeah cannot trust him <laughs> well Perfect. done Well done, Colin. Thank you, Hi, Colin. Colin. We can be friends. <laughs> you're going to watch out, uh, Colin. Uh. I see you Monday. Uh, you're going to kenal from me. <laughs> well, you know him? I know him. <laughs> oh, he works with you? Yeah. I mean, oh. he's, he's my friend. Oh, yeah. I feel so sorry for you, Colin. <laughs> like, I feel so sorry for Shema. And then now you... This is the curse. Uh, yeah, man. Yeah. We are talking about a very uh, strong curse here. Yes. Tonight, especially tonight. <laughs> <laughs> so but okay uh, what's your take on this is it real or fake we haven't give our take yet mm. Mm. it's it's too hard to tell because it's way too grainy I think they got this footage from the 1980s mm. yeah no because it, it's too grainy <clears throat> Um, and I don't understand why a a, a highly secure place especially in in uh, like you know if it's under the police mm. why the footage is it's so poor but I, I don't know I There's no way for me to tell. By the way, this is from a very well-known news channel. Okay. Yeah. Um, I, what's the news channel called? I, I blurred the channel <laughs> solely <laughs> to avoid any copyright. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. By the way, I get uh, man. I get this from a a, a new channel, a, a news channel where they they mention that this is a sighting from a highly secured. Police base. Okay. Mm. So I think it's real. Okay. Oh, because it's from. Uh, uh, it's legit. It, it's, it's something channel. that is something that the news cover, right? Oh, so it's mm. like that. So For because me. they say that is real, you you think it's real. Yeah. But when I put content that I find up, being a paranormal expert, <laughs> and you say it's fake, you, you get are where you, I'm going are, with this. Are you trying to? Are you trying to stir up something here? No, right? no, no. I'm just stating the obvious. I don't understand. My, my boxing glove is just outside, you know, brother. <laughs> <laughs> They say to never trust like the news source. You're you're like one of those ordinary uh, um um citizens of the world that will believe everything the yeah, news. Yeah, very puts gullible. Out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yes, uh, that's gullible. the word, gullible. <laughs> yeah, man. gullible Indra. News word, right? What's so wrong about the news? They tell you a lot of lies. They yeah. feed you lies right. constantly. Oh, really? Yeah. To brainwash you. Huh. Yes, of course. I studied that in university. Okay. Go yeah. On. Media research. Media yeah. So we analyze like reportings. <clears throat> we analyze like how biased reporting is and mm. stuff like that. So yeah. yeah. So people buy these things. Exactly. Mm. Uh, especially Indra. <laughs> 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 okay. What's your take on that, Shema? Um. Okay. I. <clears throat> I, I I don't know. As someone ordinary to be watching that, I think it's, I would say, mm, real lah. There you I go. Think, no, brother. no, no. It's not about gullible or anything like that. But I'm just guessing <laughs> it could be real, or I, 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 I can't tell lah. Because anyway, mm. it's so fast, you know. <clears throat> yeah. Like, why would a ghost move so fast? Where are they going? You exactly. <laughs> Maybe they are going to the toilet. What? Right? <laughs> cannot tahan, right? Yeah, cannot tahan. What? Right? They have, they have to take the number two. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Could be. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we have a comment by Daniel Ali, right? He mentioned here, uh, quite hard to tell. I would say 50-50. Anyways, having a very sad day caused a lot of bad things happening in my mind, on and off. But just want to say, I love your every Friday haunted podcast. Hey, Daniel Ali, whatever that you are going through right now, we are here to support you. Yeah, man. Um, Daniel, I hope you have better days ahead. Mm. Um, cheer up, man. Cheer up, man. Life is always there's always ups and down. Yeah, and it's always good to feel positive. And yeah. Thank you for viewing our our content, and uh, thank you so much. Not like Forrest Gump, you know. Life is like a box of chocolates. Yeah. Mm. You never know what you're <clears throat> gonna get. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, when when you have a cloudy mind, mm. uh. Prevents you from from thinking things through, and then mm. there's yeah there's just so much going on up here. So you need to clear this first, yeah. in in order for for you to see things clearly. So focus on on breathing, like try breathing exercises. It really helps. Yeah, It really helps. Yeah. Do not focus on on the problem itself so much. Mm -hmm. Maybe that would uh, accelerate more to unwanted things. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Within your circle sure. of control. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Exactly. But. Always have fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
yeah, that is true. That is okay, true. smile. Learn how to smile. Learn learn how to laugh like me and Noel. Every Friday, right? We will laugh our ass out of off. Oh, off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so confident, I'm I say. I don't know how I'm gonna focus on my story later. On. It's, it's, it's gonna like. <laughs> By the way, I see on purpose, ah. Uh. Yeah, let's right. see whether you all, whether you all paying attention or not. <laughs> Is there anybody else that says real or fake? Yeah, yeah, we have uh, uh, we have one guy here by the name of Lee Juan. He said that guys, any stories? He has a question. Any stories of an actual curse that happened in and around your life before? Okay, we are going to get into that, right? In in a while. Yeah, in a while. Right, in a while. So hang in there, hang in there, brother. Hanging, 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 hanging. Okay. Uh, I would like to to move on and and share some uh, real life encounters. These are parents mm. who have shared uh, what have gone through with their children. Okay, because I said earlier that children can see stuff. Mm. So we got this guy, uh, Doctor Conway. Uh, he says that when my son was about two years old, they were napping on the second floor of their small. Uh, home in Philadelphia, mm. and then all of a sudden he pointed at the window, and then he said, "Hi, Aunt Peg." Wow! And then a few minutes later, the phone rang, and they found out that um, that her husband's aunt, by the name of Peg, had passed away. Oh. Yeah. So then, so that means this aunt came to visit, like immediately uh, after her death. Wow. Mm. Uh, this other person said that um, when. When the mom died five years before her kids were born, but when uh, they were old enough to talk, they told me how she sat on their bed at night and told them stories of me as a child and her nickname for me. Right, so she's talking about her mom. So her mom came to visit her children, mm. and everything that the children said was true. Oh wow. my god. Mm-hmm. Where do you get all these stories, Noel? I have I have my sources. Wow. Um, <clears throat> this person says my niece Lisa passed away at 13 months old when mm. she was two. No, sorry. Let me read this again. My niece Lisa passed away at 13 months old. She was two months older than my daughter. When my daughter was about three years old, we were looking through photos when she pointed to my niece's picture and she said, "That's my friend, baby Lisa." She plays with me in the sandbox, and she lives far, far away. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, there's no way <clears throat> children would know about stuff like this, you know. And there's no way that children would lie, right? Yeah, yeah. children don't lie. Mm. Um, this one I found very interesting. Mm. Um, and and we've spoken about this place before. So it's um, this lady Lorraine says when my son was five, we took a trip to Gettysburg. And he kept correcting the tour guide. So this is a five-year-old that kept correcting the tour guide. Wow! I asked him how he knew this information. He said that the man in the uniform was telling him mm. this information was correct, and it was more precise than the tour guide's information. Uh, we spoke about Gettysburg before, where it's uh, yeah. it was the location for for this very fierce uh, battle. war battle. Yeah. yeah. So then there was this ghost soldier telling the boy all the information. About the place, oh, it's like first-hand tour guide, man. Yeah, uh, I I got a few more. Um, this one says my dad passed away in 1987, and my daughter was born in 1993. At one and a half years old, she was jumping on my mom's bed, and my mom and I was singing the monkey song. Mm. And then my baby girl stopped cold, sat down on the bed, and said, "Granddaddy said no jumping on the bed." <laughs> Oh. Wow. <laughs> my dad never ever let us jump on the bed. Wow. Mm. But how how would this little girl know that that's a grandfather, you know, and not just mm. some some other man, right? Because yeah, a lot of times when children from experience when they look at ghosts, they think that the ghost is an actual yeah. person. Um, Shante says, when my daughter was about three years old, she said to me. I remember when I was alive before. I was at the beach with my dad, and I fell on the rocks and banged my head, and then I floated up to the sky, and Daddy couldn't catch me. What? <laughs> oh. So she she knows what she like who she was before, like the 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 the, the previous life. 
mm-hmm. right? So I, I've watched this um, this guy that I like. His name is Dandapani. He he mm. he's a a, a monk, mm. and he talks about past life regression and and um, like our children up to a certain age, okay. we can ask them about their past life, and they be able to tell us little bits of information of who they were. Wow. Um, in their previous life, yeah. Interesting, yeah. Yeah, so you guys mm. can can find that on YouTube. Mm. Um, this other person here says, uh, Kane says, my nephew at age five told us he was once a farmer with three kids who live in a town in Wisconsin. He said he missed the children and he never forgot about it. Um, and the thing is that this town that he mentioned, it exists and it's not a common name either. So how would a child at five years old know about this? Mm. Oh. Okay, I think I got... A, f- oh, a few more. Let me see whether this is worth mentioning. Um, <clears throat> this one is a bit a bit freaky. Okay, uh, mm. Sheena she travels a lot for work, and uh, her son likes to to uh, FaceTime her whenever she's in the hotel. Mm. And she said one night when he was four years old, he asked me, "Who is that little boy in your room, mummy?" And I asked what he meant, and he said there was a little boy standing right behind her. Yeah. Okay, this one this one last one, okay? <laughs> um while in hospital, my child was moved to a room where a family just lost their child. Mm. It was heartbreaking as I gotten to know them well. My uh my boy, unaware of what happened to that child, kept glancing towards the corner of the room and then hiding behind me and even the nurses were weirded out. So I think that the little boy saw the other the, the child that passed on. Yeah. Wow. And they're always hiding in the corner. Actually. Yeah, yeah. Like, which is mm. something that I'm always trying to to figure out. Like, <clears throat> if they can pass through walls, right? I I know they can, but mm. why would they hide in in the corner of a room? Because they want to be noticed. Is it because they like to be like one corner? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Then definitely it's a Malay ghost, lah. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> but it's a it's a boy. So how, how 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 does a boy or a young a young boy know how to be like one corner? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but but it's 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 creepy lah. It's creepy. Yeah. Mm. Um. So, both of you are parents to to children, right? Yeah. Um. Lovely children. Have they ever told you that they've seen stuff? Um. My first one, I think yes. he's he's able to. Mm. He mm. ever because he's very chatty. Yeah. So my uh my first son, I think he's now in primary two. You think? Yeah, I think lah. <laughs> <laughs> Pay me one, Pay me two. Okay, <laughs> eight years old by the way. Okay, uh, he ever mentioned before, right? Got, okay, this is nothing got to do with paranormal, but I think mm. he got a sixth cent. So he ever uh, approached my wife before, uh, and that time my wife have no idea about, I have no knowledge about this. But he 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 approached my wife and said that, "Mummy, there's a baby in your tummy." Yes, you told me about this. Yeah. Yeah. And when my wife go and check check it out, and she get to know, she get she get to know that she's pregnant lah. Yeah. For our second one. Okay. Hmm. And then he knew when you gave birth as well. Yeah. Am I yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah. Would you like to share about that? Okay. That that, that is a very uh amazing. I won't say strange. Uh, that would be a very amazing kind of connection that he have right. Uh, he got that from me, by the way. The mm. intuition. Mm. That one definitely is from me. So. <laughs> Uh, I, yeah, I, I definitely agree. <laughs> you can agree to disagree, okay? No, no, I, I agree wholeheartedly. Okay, so tell the story. Quick. Okay, okay. So, uh, me and my wife. I mean, I, I'm accompanying my wife uh, inside the labor ward, right? So, uh, right after she gave birth to our second son, right? I straight away go out and break the news to my mum because my mum and my first son was outside the labor ward waiting. Mm. So when when I'm when I approach them, my mom uh, uh, told me that uh, my first son is like jumping with joy for for the past half an hour, mm. because from the from the time when my my wife uh, gave birth, right, it took me about half an hour for me to go out lah. Right. Okay. Right? So uh, when I go out, so my mom said that he's been ju- he's been jumping for ju- like. But happy like that, you know, for half an hour and saying that, oh, baby, come out already, baby, come out already, you know. Yeah. My brother is out already. Oh, okay. So I was, wow, was touched lah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Interesting, huh? Yeah, wait, 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 wait. No, actually, I think, I'm not sure if you are aware, but <clears throat> um, when we were outside yeah. uh, once or twice, he did mention that he saw uh, his late sister. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So he's, he, he's very close to my late sister. Mm. Oh my my, late, my yeah. late sister dotes on, on him. Yeah. Okay. Mm. He saw before. Oh, she's standing there. Yeah. So I I, I don't, know. don't know. Is, is, is mean, this a yeah. curse, Noel? I mean, I'm just I'm just no, curious no, to no, ask. It's not a curse. I think yeah. because children are, are so innocent. Yeah, yeah they're yeah, innocent. Yeah. Pure. Yeah, they're yeah, pure. Pure, mm. right? And then we as adults, we are just clouded with just so much in our mind that yeah. that uh and it's life experiences that that make us such. You know, mm. it's never about anything else. It's all about our past experiences, and then that's why you know we. We aren't in tune to to our senses, but then when we um, focus on it, and then we you know like, like what I do, yeah, right, and then you know you start being able to see stuff again, mm. hear, feel, yeah. So it's a positive thing uh, for our child to experience this. Yeah, I, I don't think it's a bad thing. Yeah, because then, for some for some parents, they might be very skeptical with this kind of approach. Of course, yeah. Am I right to say that? Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, and and I'd learned right from uh from psychology, like mm. you don't you. You shouldn't tell a child no. Uh, you know, don't make up stuff or you, you know, shun yeah, them away. Yeah, mm. yeah, and then they, they, their feelings get hurt, and mm. then there's that that distrust, you know, that that you build. So, um, I, I I know with my daughter, it's going to be so interesting when she tells me she can see stuff. I'm going to be so excited. Wow, I'm going to go where where. <laughs> <laughs> let's go, let's go, yeah. let's go. <laughs> ask ask so and so. Uh, what do you want? <laughs> Can we make contact? <laughs> you 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 you're gonna be my my translator for this. Oh, yeah. uh, winning 4D number maybe. But okay, hey, that one haram lah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, a quick question: Isn't this like a double-edged sword? It can be used to see good things, right? Mm-hmm. At the same time, but the the child given ability also can be used to be see demonic entities. Yeah, which can scare them off. Yeah, and uh, create that kind of uh, fear. Since their childhood itself, correct, right? Yeah. So, what do you think on that? Yeah, but you know, I as long as you explain things to to a child, um, mm. because you yeah. know that they, they understand things a lot better than that we think they do. That that's mm. my my thought process. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And you explain stuff to them, so I I know that my my daughter is going to be in a good place because I'll be able to to tell her about stuff like demons and black magic and and angels and lost spirits. You know, the, the list goes on and on. Wow. Yeah. Shema, will you share that with Zube also? No, like I myself am scared for what I share. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. but, but our son need that knowledge, what? right? Yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah. If we are open to, 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 to letting him know that hey, you are not cursed, mm-hmm. it is something that you should be uh, feeling like you are, should be special about, right? Yeah. If not, if they, they themselves will be very de- demoralized thinking that hey, this is a curse. Mm. Why am I seeing? Why am I seeing dead people, or why am I am I seeing uh, entities at this very young age? That is true. Mm. But some of them are like dead scared, like really dead scared. In like yeah. my brother, which you know, okay. I, I would love to share later on. Uh, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, for okay. Our children, yeah. you know. Mm. So some of them are innocently when they look at ghosts, like hey, no, that's so, you know whatever, yeah, whatever, yeah. whatever. But some mm. they get really legit scared. Mm. Yeah, okay. and we're talking about children, you know, innocent. Yeah, yeah mm. but they get scared as well. Wow. Yeah, because of the, you know, it could be the hideous, uh, you know, outlook mm. and all that, you know. Yeah. So yeah, it's it's also natural. Yeah, because mm. I, I I've seen like a good, like quite a lot of them, and um, yeah, the they don't look nice. Like I've mm. I've seen mm. one with a like a really long tongue, he had a green face. You know, mm. I mean, that's Ooh. that's images that I would never forget. Wow. Yeah, um, but. But are you scared when you? Yeah, I mean, obviously, right? Like, yeah. if it just appears, mm. like it's only natural to be afraid. I mean, you as an adult, you really feel mm. scared. What yeah. more as a child? As a child, yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah and mm. especially when they they don't understand mm. whatever they've mm. they they have yeah, experienced. See, yeah. Yeah. yeah, So as parents, I think we gotta help them along. Yeah, I, man, I I think okay, let's break this curse once and for all. Mm-hmm. I mean, this curse of uh, stigma, I would say. Okay, within our community. Thinking that when a child has special gift in seeing things, be it demonic entities or angelic entities, right? Yeah. Parents sh- should not be alarmed. They should not be so scared. First thing, they should remain calm. Okay? Get themselves 
uh, inform mm. by this by this uh, kind of experience first, or maybe mm-hmm. get third party uh, opinion. advice opinion yeah. right before they straight away shun their own children away. Yeah, I mean, but I would say maybe not shunning, but I think maybe it's more of like okay, so this is like an inside kind of uh, you know in an inside trait secret of the child kind of thing mm-hmm. but also at the same time as parents to guide the children uh, in terms of you know how how can they be more tactful because they can just say to any stranger hey there is there is uh, this person mm. behind you yeah. you know there's this you know long haired lady behind you that kind of thing so it's going to scare people off Mm. You know, yeah. so it's more of like guiding them to you know when you see the, uh, this you know try not to to say you can tell me but you don't you know don't say it to the other person and things like that lah. Mm. Yeah, so it's a way to train them in that manner so that when they grow older, they know how to control. They can still see, but they know how to control to prevent from telling other people and all that because it it will affect their social stance as well. Mm. You, you see know? why I I bring this up, no Noel? Why? Um, see, as a child, if you if you are given this kind of ability. And you are, and then you experience this for the first time. Mm-hmm. Then you approach your parent, and then imagine, just imagine, when you approach your parent, your parents say, "Hey, don't think so much, and there's nothing. Our house is very clean. Yeah. Why, you want, why you want to think so much? No lah, that, that one nothing lah, nothing, nothing. Yeah. Imagine like you get that kind of reaction from your parents, be it the father or the mother. Am I right to say that? Then he will feel uh, an additional fear of telling them for the second time if. He would experience again in the coming future. Yeah, uh, exactly. And when he experiences it again and again, and again, and again, he just keep it to himself. And I think that is quite tormenting to him. Yeah, as we will say mm. for his mental state, uh, his or her. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and and nobody you know wants to be called a liar mm. or a freak, right? Yeah, yeah. And 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 when we do stuff like this, right? Mm. Um, and we suggest to a child that oh, whatever you're saying is not the truth. Mm. It it messes up. Up mm. here, and and then you don't see it till they are a lot older. Mm. Yeah, mm. yeah. Like you know, with a lot of um, mental cases that I've come across, right? Um, it always stems from childhood. So I, I feel yeah. that parents need just need to do better, man. Yeah, man. Uh, I have a friend, mm-hmm. uh, an army friend. Um, he's a good man, very good man, very uh, quiet, very kind, right towards towards others. And uh, during our second ICT, I get to know that he won't be coming back mm. because he's admitted to IMH due to a sickness. Uh, so my commander uh, told the whole platoon, I said that hey, this guy, he was uh, diagnosed with schizophrenia, is it? Mm. Yeah. Schizo, yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. So we didn't know. All the while, during during his NS days, he's, he's fine. But Maybe again the nature of him as as a character, right? He's very quiet. Mm. He don't really talk mm. much, but he's a very nice and kind person. Mm. Yeah. But at the back end of his whatever that he's experiencing, we don't know. Yeah. Am I might say that schizophrenia is scary, yeah, because yeah. Uh, it's the kind of mental um, uh, how to say uh, impairment or not mental impairment. Sorry, it's like a mental um, uh, illness that. You can hear voices. Mm. Uh, that's the scary part. Nah. Yeah, and mm. and there have been cases, uh, quite quite a number. I I mean a lot where yeah. they turn violent mm. because of the voices that they hear. Yes. Yeah. 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 Wow. It's a serious cases. Mm. Okay. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Shall we move on to like hantu stories to Let's ghost stories? Let's go. Okay, but first before that, uh, yeah. Fahad has bought us two coffees. Hey, thank you. And says thanks, Noel and Indra for haunted hour. Uh, Happy hour for me minus the booze. Yeah. Fear is fun. <laughs> And Vanessa T bought us three coffees. Hey, thank you, Vanessa. Uh, she says here more great stories tonight. Here's a coffee each for the Hantu Bros and their special guest Shema. Enjoy. Thank Yay. you. Yay. <laughs> here we got five. Woohoo! Yeah. <laughs> okay, so Shema, let's talk about um, a experience that you had with a child ghost. Uh, mm. When did this happen? Like, was it very recent? No, no, no. It was many, many years ago, be- way before I met this guy. <laughs> and um, I was, I was fun lah back then. So yeah, and then um, I was staying at uh, Bro Reservoir, my parents' place, like that time. And I was, um, it was how many years ago? Oh my God, I think I would say before I went to university. Yeah, so that should be 2005 ish around there. 
Mm-hmm. And um, I was like, yeah lah, you know, during that wild and carefree days, you know, the rebellious, uh, restless, young punk that the, I was. The Mina days. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, so I, I had this neighbor, right? Mm. And uh, he, he because we, we, we stay about a few blocks away, so he would like call me up, like, hey, lepa, you know, like, let's just hang out, that kind of thing. And... So uh, it, it was a regular thing lah, and I would go out like late at night, you know, like at about like um eleven ish, and then come back like two three in the morning, that kind of thing. Those days lah, and uh, so happened that my late father was uh you know he was awake at that time, and normally when I go out like I would just go out you know that kind of thing like very stubborn, and then uh, my dad would like make noise lah, like you know you shouldn't be going out, you're a girl blah 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 that kind of thing. Yeah. So um so happened that that night I think he was really fed up with me so um he was just uh he kept saying like you know why are you still going out late and blah, blah blah I said no nothing but just chilling with my friend you know that kind of thing blah blah and then he was like okay you're gonna regret this night <sighs> so um I just went anyway so uh went to meet up with my neighbor first we were like uh, chilling under the block as usual and after he was like. Eh, boring ah. Let's like go somewhere because if not, if it's not in the neighborhood, it will be like at Bedok Reservoir Park. Right. And then, uh, so happened that we were just at our neighborhood, so we decided to hang out at the uh, playground behind uh, my parents' house at that time. Uh, there was like a park, you know, and then there's the uh, the the playground there. So he said, "Okay lah, come let's let's just chill there lah." And I was like, "Of all places, you want to go there?" Then he's like, "Yeah lah, boring ah. You know, like sit under the block. It's so like so hot that kind of thing lah." So I was like. Okay lah, okay lah. Mm. You know, so we were chilling at the at the playground. And you know, at the playground they have like the the what do you call it? Steps. The yeah, the steps, and then the there's a small space, and then there's the slide that comes. Yeah. So we were sitting there lah. Okay. So we were sitting there, just normal lah, just doing our own stuff. We were chilling and everything, and then that was already around one plus in the morning, and I didn't have a good feeling at that time for some weird reason. I didn't have a good feeling because normally when I go, I didn't have this problem. Mm. And for some reason, that particular night, right, I was like, I didn't like something wasn't good lah going on inside me. So I was telling my friend like, hey, um, uh, I think we we go somewhere else ah. You know, I don't feel good ah. And then he yeah. was like, ah, okay lah, okay lah, okay. Actually, he didn't want to go. He didn't want to go down. Then I was like, yeah, mine ah, just just go ah. I don't feel good. I don't feel good. So like, mm. ah, okay lah, okay lah, okay, okay, you know that kind of thing. So he was thinking it was just drag. So we we went down, and we were chatting lah. And I was making a lot of noise to him. I say, you see lah, not a good idea for for us to come here. You know, because like. Like, you know, like, it's so dark and I don't feel good, blah, 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 blah. Mm. Then we were talking, talking, suddenly, both our eyes, like, were fixated on this particular spot. Ooh. And it was under the block. And it was, like, you know, under the block, there's, like, the orange light thingy, right? So it was broad. It was really on broad, like, under broad light, like, basically. And... It was this child ghost lah, and and basically, and and the funny thing was, we both saw it at the same time, and we stopped Ooh. in our tracks, and and it was a girl basically, and um, the hair was long, front and back covered, mm-hmm. and she was wearing like it looked like a pajamas, you know, actually, right, um, and she was standing like that, you know, okay, so pretending this is her feet, right. Mm-hmm. So it was she was just standing like like that. Okay, let me see. Okay, like that. Mm. And her feet was Staggered, in uh. mid air, so it right. was floating. Mm. And the hair was just like down and front and back that kind of thing. So when I saw that, I was like, oh shit! You know, like I really, I we were almost gonna pee in our pants seriously. And and it she was just standing there just like that. And it mm. was under broad like bright light, you know. So after mm. we saw that, um, we quickly decided to just you know basurai lah. I seem really just get out of there. Mm. Okay. And we would, and normally we would like these platonic buddies, you know. But for some reason that night, right, we became like a couple. We started holding hands <laughs> and we were like just walking as fast as possible, you know. And then we were like, okay, I don't want to talk, don't talk, don't talk, don't talk. Then until we we went all the way to my void deck, and we sat down there, and then we both didn't want to go home. We were scared, so we stayed under the block until like six mm. a.m. Ah. And, and how old so, did this um, girl look? She looked like nine or ten. Really? I can safely say, yeah. Wow. She looked like nine or ten, and when I when I came back up in the morning, mm. and then uh, my late dad was there, and he 
was looking at me and then I was like, I was like Abba, you know what? I saw blah, blah, blah. You know, I told him and he didn't look surprised mm. because apparently um, he told me, he said, good, I'm glad you saw it. I said, what? He said, yeah, because when I left the house, he he did his prayers, right? Mm-hmm. And after his prayers, he actually asked God to meet me up with a ghost. Oh wow! wow. Yeah. <laughs> it's like you know. What to... a request! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, God, can can you please look after my daughter? Like no, <laughs> teach her a lesson by, by <laughs> showing her a ghost. Wow. Yeah. So that was a true story. He told me that. He told me that. Uh, you know, and you know, parents prayers are uh, when yeah. they say uh, it, especially for our our religion. Mm. Uh, you know. So yeah, that was one hell of an experience. Uh, yeah. Yeah, because mm. like something just told me right that. Yeah. Uh, when you're talking about this girl that it was uh, somebody that had taken her life but then when you say that it she's like nine or ten years old mm. then uh, i'm mm. hoping that it's not someone that took her. their life mm. yeah but anyway that area in Badur as well block 600 plus yes that area is known to be you know Haunted. very spooky mm. i think a few blocks were sealed off before 600 plus ah uh, yeah mm. because uh, there was there was quite a number of suicides going on in that area yeah mm. Mm. and Remember? then um the our area i mean as mm. in my parents area used to be a chinese cemetery mm. yes that's Remem- interesting mm. remember we have a guest uh by the name of sharif yeah yeah he he mentioned about the reservoir, Bidu reservoir. Mm. Yeah, yeah we've had a lot of people uh leaving comments as well yeah seeing how haunted but reservoir, reservoir is yes. yes yeah i'm always wondering why but then now you tell me that it used to be a chinese cemetery yes yeah. it was hmm. that mm. would, is the land cursed could be could be yeah yeah mm. and the flats are awfully cheap there so yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah true it's cheap Okay. Yeah, but not fifteen dollars, lah. There's only one particular apartment in Bungo, fifteen dollars. Ah, so, uh, mm-hmm. do you experience anything else after that or, or before that? Mm. Um, so far, not that I like. So far, that was the the clear one, ah, uh, that I've seen. You know, mm. um, but I mean, before that, you know, when when we like when we were hanging out with friends, you know, we go for chalets and stuff, you know. Yeah. So, uh, I've also had this friend who, um, he studied in, in, in Indonesia and um, and he's on my Facebook. Lah, so, if he's watching, he might know that it's him. So, but I'm not going to mention his name. Mm. But he had uh, a kind of a, a how do I say, a, a, an ability. And I think he picked it up when he was studying in Indonesia. He studied, uh, uh, how do I say, how do I say, ilmu or something like that. Lah. I mean, in... in, in Black uh, magic? Not black magic. It's more of like, um, uh, something to do with with uh, uh, a spiritual kind of um cult. Is it kind of a cult? Not cult? not really a cult. Uh, I don't remember. Okay. But okay. Anyway, he studied in Indonesia, right. and he developed this ability to be able to um chant, uh, that can call the ghost. Wow. Over. Yeah. Mm. So when when we when we uh when he's around, right? Then yeah. we would go for our so called like uh ghost hunting or expedition or whatever. Mm. And I remember once was at Bedok Res- uh, Sorry, it was at uh, Pasir Ris Park, mm. and that place is also well known, uh, obviously. And uh, we were sitting. I think we went up the. There was this uh, like a staircase uh, that leads up to like uh, some kind of a patio kind of thing uh, like mm. platform thing. And then we all sat there, and so he he started chanting and then he called, and then we started hearing um, laughter and you know the famous laughter lah. Uh. Yeah. Mm. The Pontianak laughter, and then oh. uh, so we were, and then we were like, oh my god, we're going to read something. So my my friend taught me how to uh, recite, you know, at that time. Yeah. And then you know what they say about uh for Pontianak's laughter, right? If you, if you if you hear it and it sounds very far. Yeah. Yeah. It's actually they are actually very near. Yeah. 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 If it sounds very near, they're actually very far. Yeah. yeah. So mm. that's their superpower, lah. Yeah. But mm. do you believe that the Pontianak the Pontianak exists? Mm. Well, I I. I haven't seen. I don't want to see one, but uh, but I mean, uh, like there's so many of these entities, lah, and people mm. have 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 you know spotted, and people have you know uh, reported sightings and things like that. Some of some are even Legit, uh, huh? recorded, and I've seen on TikToks and all that. Mm. Uh, that one, wow, that one. If it's if you can put on the real or fake. That one is more legit, uh, okay. than just some random shadow running. <laughs> the- thanks, thanks, yeah. by the way. <laughs> by the way, it it could be a Pontiana or no that shadow just now in New York City. Yeah, in New York. 
Wow. <laughs> Pontianak has traveled. I'm, I'm just being ambitious, okay? I'm just being ambitious. <laughs> Uh, I, I I want to read this because yeah. this guy just uh bought us a coffee, hey. uh, three coffees. His name is Sanjay. Um, hey, thanks, Sanjay. Uh, Hantu Bros, peace and good vibes coming to you from uh Toronto, Canada. Oh wow! wow. Uh, though I am originally from Penang, Malaysia, mm. and he said Noel don't la always bully Indra. Kasian that fellow. <laughs> There's really nothing to kasian here. Uh, I promise you that. Uh, he says, love your content, <laughs> even though I can't always follow it live due to the time difference. But he has never missed an episode. Wow. Great stuff. Thank you. Hey. Thank you, Sanjay. Wow, wow. Salute to you, Sanjay. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. Do you think I believe you? I don't, man. No I really la. don't. I, I, it's something I'm... No, I think we, we're just having fun. We just love to troll each other. We yeah. just love to banter. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> no hard feelings, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. Okay. What's next? What's next? <laughs> <laughs> What's next? Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I, I I want to know more about your your family. If you don't mind sharing, I mm. I, I know a lot of people don't like um, sharing too much. Mm. But you know, since you were nine uh, seven DJ, you guys love talking <laughs> and and all. See, I just did a plug. Uh, <laughs> what can you tell me about your family? Have you all had like paranormal encounters? Ah uh, yes, yes, of course. Um, actually, my brother is the one who who could see stuff mm. more older, than I do. Older or younger? Older brother. Ah, mm. oh. and uh, yeah. So um, when I mean, first of all, when we talked about the curse, right? Yeah. So we we in in our in my father's side of the of the family lah. Uh, it's always my father's side. Like, I don't know a lot of, of crazy stuff happening in that side of the family. But anyway, mm. um, yeah. So uh, one of our distant relatives lah uh, uh had this um. Is it sucker or like kind of like a pet? Is it like a ghost pet or something yeah, like that? Pet. And it was in the form of a gorilla, and it goes through walls. Okay, okay. Yeah. Wait, wait. Uh, what does sucker mean? Sucker in Malay means. Uh, I think we've been through this before. Yeah, I yeah. can't remember. Sucker in Malay. Uh, if I I I don't know how the translation in English is gonna be like, but I I I try my best as 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 accurate I can be. Yeah. Uh. Mm-hmm. Um. It's like a curse. That has to be passed down from generation to generation. Okay. For some, they treat it as a curse. For some, it can be a gift, right? Mm-hmm. Because they are keeping, like, like Shema mentioned, a ghost pet. Mm-hmm. And this ghost pet, you cannot leave it unattended without a master. Right. Yeah. So somebody in the in that family have is... to inherit the the ghost pet. Okay. And then And you sorry, you... yeah. yeah. To, to 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 give a full cycle of this. Meaning okay. of cycle yeah. of the sucker uh, is that uh, the inheritance is not by choice, right? Okay, that means it's given. Okay, okay. So, for example, okay. So I I think I know where you're going. Mm. Um, if I am the the master, yeah, I have to pass it down to someone before I pass on. Yes, correct. And mm, mm. so, and you, that person can never be able to reject it. Oh, so I. Like you can't say, oh, I don't want. Yeah, you can, because once the like, because this happened many times, in uh in in our communities where where I heard stories where a grandmother would pass this on to a a granddaughter, mm. not to the daughter itself, to the granddaughter, and he he she have she have many granddaughters or yeah. in fact many grandchildren, but she choose one particular granddaughter to. To pe- carry on this tradition, yeah, mm. and and it's not just the Muslim community because mm. I know of this Indian Indian lady. She yeah. speaks really well, mm. and she got it from her grandmother. There yeah. you go. There you go. So yeah. it's not it's not by choice. You it is given to you, and you have no choice. Okay. To in, inherit that. Yeah. 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 And and in your family, mm. this Saka, am I pronouncing it yeah, right? Correct. Mm-hmm. It's a gorilla. Yeah, it was in the form of a gorilla, according to my my mom. My mom uh, shared this with my brother lah. So my okay. brother, uh, I mean, when 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 we were kids lah, uh, my brother would you know follow my parents, go to my dad's side of the family, the relative side, and then mm-hmm. uh, he saw, he would see it on top of the cupboard. He would see it go through walls and everything. And there was even a picture of him. Uh, he was lying down on a bed and he was holding on to a bolster. He was crying in that picture. So in that picture was at the relative's house that that I was talking about, and uh, apparently that picture was taken after he saw it. Oh wow! Yeah, 
Yeah, so um, AI and the gorilla, yeah, goes through walls and 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 all that lah. So I mean, it's scary lah in a sense. I mean, yeah, ghost pets, ghost pets, in a way, like to some people, it can be like a gift in a sense that it brings fortune, like uh. money. Yeah, I mean, it makes you rich, what? Like, oh. but you have to feed it, right? Yeah. you have to feed it. You There's have a to... certain requirement for you to feed mm. this kind of ghost pets. And yeah, they feed on uh, some. They feed on blood. Yeah, some they feed on certain things. I don't know. Okay, yeah. because when you said yeah. gorilla, and then I love. Gorillas and I was like, oh my god, that's that's a very cute ghost pet. But then now when you talk about feeding blood, <laughs> no, it like, depends. What kind of pet no, is this? It depends yeah. what kind of ghost pet you are keeping. Okay, some might be a mm. demonic kind of they, uh, they ghost pet. They take on many forms. Yeah. La. Oh. Ah. Mm. Okay, then then it's out of the question. I, yeah. I cannot have a ghost pet then because <laughs> I can't imagine giving blood or yeah. to a gorilla, right? Mm. Yeah, or, or anything. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So, okay. so. It, it, it's 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 kind of like a curse because you have to feed your pet, your ghost pet, mm. and mm. that's the curse that we are talking about. Yeah, tonight. because you yeah. don't have a choice, right? It's given to you. Yeah, yeah. And right. then you go like, oh, now I have this thing I I don't want, mm. but I cannot get rid of it, and then I have mm. to feed it. Yes, stuff like blood. So who has this gorilla now? Is I, it you? I I don't know. No, 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 not me. Oh, no, no, no. Are you sure? Not me. Yes, Have yes. you seen it? No, she's the no, gorilla, I guess. Then it will be close to you. Oh. Yeah, so... Uh, has anybody seen it recently? No. No. No, it was a very long time ago, so... Mm. Yep. Yeah, but somebody um, has it though. It it can't yeah, just disappear. Yeah, I don't think it can can disappear. I don't I don't know whether like you can call on like you know hmm. the ustas to to you know like get rid of it or anything like that. Yeah, um, yeah anything I'm not is sure possible. How it works, but yeah. But usually, okay, usually for who get it right, it's still a mystery until mm. this thing mm. show up again. Am I yeah. right to say that? Mm. Yeah. Usually, it's 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 in that manner. Mm. The person, the must, let's say the master, like mm. the grandmother, right? Would not reveal to anyone who will receive this. Uh, I've got another friend, mm. like many many years ago. Also, um, as in a friend of a friend's friend kind of thing. So they they were chilling out at their friend's house, mm-hmm. and then they were watching TV, and then they see like you know three shadows walking Flashback. past <clears throat> past the TV. Right. And then they were like, "What the hell is that?" You know. Mm. So when they ask their friend, their friend say, "Oh, my mom keeps three pontianaks." What? So, wow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and 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 Pontianaks also can be kept as ghost pets, ah. Hmm. To keep so, one is yeah. to keep one is very scary, man. Yeah, to keep yeah. three, three. Yeah, oh to tame God. to tame three. And and these are real stories, yeah, right? Yeah. So I'm not making this up. Yeah, yeah. it's true. Mm. They 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 would. Mm. And what I heard, right? What I heard, uh, because my friend used to date a nurse, and this nurse, uh, Malay Mel- Mel- uh, lady. She 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 used to and inherit, uh, the the sucker from her grandmother. So what my friend actually shared with me is quite eerie lah. Say that, uh, when when he when he go over to her place right, then uh she, she he he felt like this kind of like bad energy or very, like very strong energy that is very negative. Mm. Mm. That's one. Second, when she start to enter her own. House, right? When she's outside, she she's okay. She looks very normal. But when she enter her own very house, right? Because that's where she keep her ghost pet, mm-hmm. right? She would turn to be a different person, lah, bro. She, uh, she would, in what way? She would talk in like in a very, uh, uh I would say like a violent way. Mm. She oh. she would talk in a very scary and eerie way mm-hmm. that my friend freak out. Yeah. In the end, mm. in the end, actually, actually, to be honest, uh, to be honest, my friend is is trying to have a good time with her lah there. Mm. But because of that encounter, that experience, ah. my friend said, "Okay, I think I, I need to go back." Uh. Yeah, of course, of course. <laughs> so he left. Mm. He left because he, it's very spooky, and then her house is dark with uh with candles. We're talking about candles, oh. you know. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. It's okay. I want to ask this question, but mm. I don't want to to offend. yeah offend anyone. Mm. But why is it that the Malay community, right, stuff like this is so rampant? Like mm. uh, from the use of black magic to to all these encounters, do you mm. guys have any idea why? 
I think from okay from in my opinion uh, to keep a ghost pet I don't think people will keep ghost pet for fun yeah. because they want something in return obviously uh, mm. definitely to be rich to be famous mm. you know um, to, to get beauty get the things that they want to get beauty and yeah. things like that mm. um, and then uh, that one is is already like okay sucker that's already one for mm. ghost pet for black magic actually you'll be surprised uh, people who are like Younger than our generation, and yeah. we're talking about like those twenty something Gen Z. Even mm. the teenagers are now familiar to use black magic yeah, uh, true. to get back at somebody they don't like, or to get the love their their crush to like them back. That kind of thing. You know what is interesting? Noel yeah. ever uh, ever we have this conversation before. Noel, you say that uh, to to get someone to do black magic, right? This is not to promote, lah. Mm. This is no, not no, to promote. No, 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 okay, no. not to promote, but just to be aware of. Uh, you can go to any apps, yeah, freelance that, app in yeah. the in the in the online on online that mm. you that is that is available, right? And you can get their services there. Yeah, for five dollars, it starts from just five dollars. <laughs> there you yeah. go. Yeah, the yeah. Bomo have to upgrade themselves. How crazy! Yeah. Yeah. They, the Bomo now are going online. <laughs> yeah, like no, have no this, offense on that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You have this outreach of of uh Bomo uh witchcraft. Practitioners from like mm. New Orleans, and then mm. you go, then you have folks from Thailand, from the Philippines, from India. Like, you, there's so many choices online now. Yeah, and it's so accessible, and 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 that scares me sometimes. You know, mm. true, true. Uh, because there, there are a lot of unhappy people, and there are a lot of people that that don't want that seek vengeance. People to succeed. Yeah. yeah, and then now it's so accessible. Yeah. I think back in in the old days, people had to go like, "Hey, you know, Bomo, Bomo, where, yeah. where, which part of the kampung, you know, yeah, which yeah. kampung do I go to?" Mm. In fact, where I'm living, right? Yeah. In, uh, I don't want to say where. Uh, mm. Okay, this part of the east. Mm. There's one of the the roads that was just like the red light district, and then there was another road that the stretch, right? That okay. was like known for for bomos. Mm. So the different kampung house you go to has got like a bomo for for different stuff. You want to go for love. Then you must find that house. Oh, this house does like oh. uh, very good like uh, love spells. Wow, serious? Yeah. yeah. You want to get rich? This is the guy you you go to. Of course, his kampung house mm. looks a lot better. You know. Mm. Yeah. So so that's the area I'm staying at now in the mm. east. But mm. um, you always had to ask people questions. But now Google tells you everything. Uh, mm. uh, like Fiverr.com would would just allow you to reach out to at least twenty uh, practitioners, whether it's white uh, magic or black. Black magic. Yeah. yeah. Mm. I don't understand it, man. Oh, wow, that's scary. The man. easy way out, lah. Yeah, the easy yeah. way out. Yeah, the fast way out. Yeah, so. but is it is it uh how say is it uh is it does it work? Um, I don't know, but what I do know, right, yeah. is that these people that are doing this stuff are never going to tell you what, uh, what's the actual price you're going to pay because mm. money is one thing. Mm. But then when you enlist this help, right? Yeah. What price are you actually prepared to pay? You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, money money talks. Uh. Could be life. Mm. It, may, it may not even be your life. They could take the life of of your child yeah. one day. Yeah, wow. yeah. You never know. So why yeah. even walk down that road? Yeah, right. true. Yeah. Mm. It's true. People, and, people and, are strange. And talking about this, right? Uh, re- relating to our topic, which is curse, and going back to the sucker topic, mm-hmm. right? The ghost uh, pet. Uh, if you don't fulfill this ghost pet requirement, mm-hmm. like feeding him or her or whatever, right? Uh, this ghost pet will suck the energy from that person itself, mm. and in the end, that person would will uh would go through a certain amount of uh mental uh disorder. Okay. Yeah. And even physical health. Physical illness. health. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. We, talk, we will. Yes. And he he or she will experience mm. that. Okay. Mm. Uh, and how would these people know that they have this gift? <laughs> It's not a gift, bro. Okay, yeah. uh, sucker, sucker, sucker yeah. is something that they know that it's been passed down. Okay, my oh, so, so mm. they they do they know. They know, they do okay. know. Yeah. Um, so you mentioned your your, your brother earlier, your mm. elder brother. What's his name? Sadik. Sadik. Mm. Uh, what other experiences has uh, Sadik had? Okay. Um, another experience was uh in our house in Bedok North uh back then. And we uh we I mean we were kids so we shared a room and everything and then um. It was in the middle of the night, lah, and he shared with me uh, this like years later, mm. where I mean, we, we I was well, I was sleeping, he couldn't sleep, and um, he he was he he said he saw like at the corner of his eye because like 
the, the there are two beds here, so it's our beds. And then at the corner there is the study table, and then there's the window and the blinds and everything. So what he saw was um a white figure with mm-hmm. long hair covering the, the 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 face and everything, and standing right at the corner of uh, the study table next to the window and the blinds and everything. So um wow. he couldn't sleep. And he was crying and he was trying to close his eyes, but he couldn't sleep. And then he was like in cold sweat, you know, he broke into cold sweats and everything. And then he uh, got so scared, he moved to my bed and he was squeezing with me. Mm. And I was fast asleep now, I was sleeping like a log, but he was squeezing and squeezing with me. And then eventually Mm. he told me that he slept through it. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, I mean, I just... the the. The the how to say the takeaway from that when what he told me was he slept through it. How do you actually sleep through it? You know. Yeah. You know you try to really close your eyes and try to sleep and it's still there. You know. Mm. So he was telling me that even he turns here he could still see it there. You know that kind of thing. So, um, yeah, the baffling part uh, was when he told me that he slept through it. Uh. And I'm sure there are people out there who have experienced these kind mm-hmm. of things. And they managed to sleep through it, you know. Yeah. Uh, I, I mean, I can relate. Mm. Uh, two experiences come to mind. One mm. was when I was at Ferry Point Chalet 5. Oh. Yeah. And I could hear a lot of talking in the room. And then I saw this figure standing by the door that was moving very slowly, you know, towards me. Mm. And then I just said, you know what? I'm damn deadly tired. You can, <laughs> you can watch me sleep, do whatever you want. And I slept. <laughs> oh. Yeah. And then I was uh, in the tent in uh, Pulau Ubin, you know, I think it's mm. the Maman campsite. Mm. And there was disturbances throughout the entire night. And then we saw like this depression in the tent of like someone's hand, you know. Oh. Yeah, press in and then it moved down and you can hear it. Mm. And you can hear footsteps just walking around. Oh, like the a tent. silhouette lah. Yeah. Ah, and, and then, okay. You can hear the footsteps. Yeah, you can hear the footsteps, eee. you can see. It, but the moment wow. you open the tent, right? Yeah. It's gone. And it's just happening, right? I said, you know what? You can continue doing this, right? <laughs> yeah, I, I'm. I'm just gonna sleep. Mm. So I slept, mm. and then the ex girlfriend stayed away because she she couldn't sleep. Oh, poor yeah. girl. Uh. Yeah. but you know it is what it is. I mean, to, to me, I'm not afraid, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Correct, yeah. Correct. So I'm big cow, lah. You know, <laughs> <laughs> no, but but they say, but they say, if you tell them off, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, hey, don't disturb me. I don't disturb you. You don't disturb me. And and le- legit, they probably will just move away. That kind of thing, and then you can have your peace for yeah. yourself. That's what I heard, yeah, for lah. yourself. For yourself only. Mm, yeah. Oh, for yourself. So if, yeah, mm-hmm. correct. If this is the two of you, and then. Mm. He's not afraid, but mm. you are. It's still going to stick around, one. Yeah, you know, true. because correct, he knows correct. he's got one one person to prey on. Mm. Yeah, 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 true, true. true. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So the same thing happened with my wife. <laughs> we oh, were poor, poor dad. Uh, uh, at a very nice poor resort daddy. in uh, in Batam, and then you know, I I was walking back to the room, and I told, her, "Hey, this place got a lot of things, lah." Oh, Batam, ah. Mm. Batam was. Oh, we also got one in Kuala Lumpur. Yeah. Okay. okay. So I I told her like, "Hey, this place has actually a lot of these mm. things, you know." And we went back mm. to the room. Uh, you no, know, we went went out for dinner, and then we came back to the room, and I slept. Mm. And and she was awake because there was stuff in our room. Because oh. I think the moment I said, "Hey, this place got a lot of things," they decided, "Oh, let's follow this man because this man <laughs> knows we are here." Yeah, and the, and Gabby has to be the victim, ah. Yeah, she woke up the the. She didn't sleep much, right? Okay. And then she woke up the next morning with a very high fever and and everything. So, oh. mm, so there was no. We were supposed to leave to Mm-mm. to to come mm. back. To Singapore and then we couldn't so I had to extend the night mm. but I knew that I had to get her out from this resort I could have extended the night there yeah. but I knew I had to get her out to another resort and the moment I got her there right yeah yeah, she was okay she 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 recovered oh yeah. thank god man mm-hmm. yeah but I, I can sleep through these things like to me it's no problem mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, I can sleep through anything <laughs> Yeah lah. That's why quick I... also. I want to sleep. <laughs> That's why I notice also. Uh, no, no. <laughs> How do you notice these things? You've never seen me sleep, or have you? Oh, but my 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 mom is a. It can be a fierce one also with mm. the ghosts. Mm. So uh, when we uh, when we just moved into our Bedok Reservoir flat, and uh, you know, so this was like before like we moved in. So my mom would you know. Uh, Two three times a week, she would go to the house, and it was already vacant, lah. People, the pe- family already moved out, so she would go into the house and she would clean the house, lah. Uh, sweep the floor, mop, you know, the basic kind of stuff. Mm. And then, um, uh, I think it was one occasion where uh, she put stuff on the shelf, and then the next day it was moved around. Right. So she got angry. She shouted, "Don't shave any of my things!" And then after that, she went home. Then when mm. she went home. 
um, she felt where she had a bad dream where someone was like choking her, you know. Wow. Well. Yeah, someone hmm. was choking her, huh. uh, strangling her. I mean, and then after that, uh, the next day, uh, the next time round, she wanted to go to to the house, our new place, to clean. She was gonna open the front door, but something was pushing wow. the door from preventing her from opening the door. Huh. So she got angry. She scolded, and she said, "This is my house. You're not doing anything." Then she managed to open the door. Wow, your yeah. mom so your mom so daring, eh? yeah. yeah. I mean, for me, if the door wouldn't <clears throat> open, okay lah, I'll just I'll just go home. Okay lah. I come back. Yeah. To, I come back tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm the scary cat actually. I'm the scary cat one. Mm. Yeah. Really? No. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. I am. Huh. I am. Okay. I, I mean, yeah. it's fine to be as well. Yeah. 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 Even now, I want to go toilet, so I'm scared. So uh, I'll just uh, hold it. Uh. Now, now. <laughs> But you can't leave as now. As we, we speak now. Yeah, we are live, Shema. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Sorry. Okay. Well. <laughs> yeah, but okay. Uh, bravery has uh, to to a certain extent it mm. does have an effect. Yeah. In uh, repelling the the entity. I right? think the more yeah. you're scared, the more they can sense your fear. Yeah, and yeah. then they, they yeah. just feed on that because it you emit uh negative energy, mm. right? Mm. So then they just feed on that. But then ah, when you're positive, you know, yeah. They they know that whatever they do is mm. not going to work. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, so it I, positivity really really helps. I found this out the hard way. Mm. Yeah, mm. Uh, I know that you know when we do our paranormal investigations, when yeah. you put your 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 mind right in mm. a negative state, mm. yeah. so you think of all the sad things that have happened to you in life, or you think about somebody in a in a very bad accident, right? Oh, mm. okay, and then once you're in that negative state of mind, mm. and then you you summon them and you call them, they will come. Right. But when you go there all positive and it's like no life is great, nothing can can Mm-mm-mm. can harm me. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god, you you would not get like anything on on camera. Mm. Yeah. Ah, mm. okay. So that's why people who are depressed tend to get possessed easily. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. When they're in a bad mental state, when they're like really depressed and mm. all that. Yeah. When, I I have a question for you, Noel. Man, sure. You 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 as a a very seasoned paranormal investigator, man, to 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 go back and forth and dwell in that kind of emotion that negative emotion i i, I bet it's not easy for you because yeah. for man when you're out in the field you have to get that you have to be in that negative zone mm-hmm. then when you are back with your family man you have to be positive right? you can't bring back that negative conditioning yeah, yeah. Conditioning. yeah. Man, how, how how do you cope with that man i i mean um I, you know i had this mm. conversation with a a very good psychologist the other day mm. um It's basically what we do, right? We wear mask. All of us do. So oh. as as a parent, you got this mask yep. that that you wear, where mm-hmm. you know you 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 enforce rules in the house. Yeah. And then you wear this other mask when you go to work, mm. and then you wear another one when you with your friends, another yeah. one when you're with your partner. Mm. So for me, right, when I do my paranormal investigations, mm. it's this mask that I put on, and I make sure that I have to step out of of this mm. the moment it, it's over, and then you gotta start thinking. Positive thoughts, affirmations, whatever you control your 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 breathing, mm. um, uh, which is a little harder for me now because I don't like thinking negative stuff. I don't like mm. thinking of sad events. Yeah, mm. and and that works when you are a paranormal investigator, you know. Yeah, uh, because then you get results faster. But so, going back, going back to your days, right? Mm-hmm. To for you to have that control, it's not easy. No, man. back back in those days, I didn't have it. Mm. So. Every time I would have to do a research about a particular place, and yeah. I feel like, oh my god, this 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 lady, she was murdered here. So depressing. Yeah. Huh? Mm. What about her family? How do her family feel? Yeah, yeah. Mm. Um, and then you read up about all the other stuff, like World mm-hmm. War Two killings, and then you just feel it's just surrounded with just so much darkness. Yeah. And then I, I let it consume me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I oh. let it consume oh. me, and then I was, so I was like digging this hole. Deeper and deeper and deeper. Mm. Reading up about demons, reading up about the 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 occults in Singapore, like mm. you know, there's just so much, and it's just all darkness mm. that I couldn't see the the light. Mm. Uh, and then I just based everything on, oh, okay, my life sucks. Do you think that depression is, sucks? Huh? Do you do you think that we can sum, su- uh, we can uh, sum up as a curse? Mm, not a curse for, because for a I I did it to myself. Yeah, you know. Mm, yeah. Uh, nobody did it to me. Yeah. I just felt compelled to to deliver content to to the viewers. Yeah. Uh, That's your passion. Yeah. My, my my passion and uh mm. um there's always so much that I can learn you know about the, yeah. the unknown. Mm. But then once you you switch your mentality over time, I'm, because it doesn't happen overnight. True. But True. then when you become positive and all, and then you look back and you ask yourself, was it worth it? 
Did I become a millionaire from those dark days? No, I, I definitely didn't. Yeah. So now I, I'm very picky about stuff, you know. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I, I try, try not to put myself in that situation again, mm. unless it's for, for a better tomorrow. Like the stuff I did with, uh, MediaCorp, for example. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a goal of mine. It was like, okay, then what is there's more possibilities in the future mm. of something amazing happening. I said, okay, then I don't mind mm. doing it. Yeah. Sure. Things you look forward to, yeah. you know, yeah. You know, like, like, like I ever mentioned to Noel before, I think this uh, topic on paranormal, right, should be taught as an education uh, mm. value more rather mm-hmm. than just entertainment. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, it, it goes both ways lah. Yeah. But also, it, it should be taught as an educational va- to value. To create la. awareness lah, yeah. you know, at some point. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because, I mean, going back to uh, the start of our podcast, we when, when we talk about children being, or we just uh, quote as curse, that mm-hmm. right? children being cursing uh, entities at that young age. I mean, they are not cursed; they are just being given that special ability to to mm-hmm. see all these entities. Yeah. So to have proper knowledge, if we can educate parents with proper knowledge, they know how to handle their children in a, in a, in the most appropriate manner. Yeah, am I right to say that? Yeah, for sure. Mm. Definitely, man. So tonight, wow. let lift up the curse. Or maybe can uh, come up with a, <laughs> you know, a tertiary course. Oh, that, on, wow. Uh, yeah. Supernatural, um, paranormal. For, for who? You know, like maybe in a, a polytechnic kind of course. Mm. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> what do you think? Do you, do you think that early childhood or maybe uh, children in the early childhood can accept knowledge of the paranormal? I, I think a, a little young. too young, yeah, yeah, too young yeah, for, for them, them to, to comprehend. Them. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> because like I said, a lot of them when when they see stuff, they mm. they think it's an actual mm. person. So oh, how yeah. how do you tell a how do you help a child differentiate mm. this? You know mm. what's real, what's not. Yeah. yeah, because it can be it can be a a kind of a skill. Yeah, correct. It is a skill. To, okay. to, to teach but regardless it's, yeah. it's very hard to comprehend or something that we, is hard for us to relay to a child right mm-hmm. but we can't leave that child unattended right yeah mm. something has to be done mm-hmm. something has to be say, said mm-hmm. I mean, and something has to be relayed to, 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 to the child mm-hmm. yeah mm. so we we can think about that yeah we, we, we can we can because it's for it's for it's for our uh, it's for the benefit of our community True. Mm. Yeah, I agree. Can put it subtly, lah. Like, you know, in children's books, mm. uh, you know that kind of thing. Yeah, it yeah. starts with books. Yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. Wow. Wow. But still too young, lah. Like. I think maybe the tertiary course sounds like an idea. <laughs> but okay, it, uh, not not trying to not trying to belittle. You can earn money also. I understand, but yeah. not trying to belittle that age group because mm-hmm. I've been there, I've been there as a young young adult, right? Mm. So. Uh, people who in that age group I would say majority of them when they approach this topic of paranormal yeah. they will just think of this hey let's have fun man with this rather than being it uh, ah, taking it okay. as a form of education yes, yes, you, yes. you get what yeah. I mean yeah. No? yeah it could be the way they're, they're receptive you know re- yeah. yeah the way that they receive it mm, yeah. Mm. Mm, yeah true okay consider many things nice nice <laughs> <laughs> yes Noel you have something to say no man, I'm just letting husband and wife talk. No, I, uh, are we taking over the show? No, right? no, no, no. I was actually zoning out for a while. Though. Yeah, yeah. I'm so sorry. Okay, uh, um, we we try to take questions from our viewers. Huh? Sure. Yeah. If you yeah. guys got questions, please leave it in the comment box, and yeah, Indra please. will read your comments. Yes, uh, for our live viewers, please, 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 right? Uh, comment and ask your question. Okay, we have a few comments here. Uh, I think. From Gav Chu, they say they fit on your fear. The more you, the more you're afraid, the more they attracted to you. Yeah, hmm. yeah, that is true. But could it be that it, it's it could just be you overthinking kind of thing? Like for example, let's say um, I come home late at night, mm-hmm. and mm. then uh, you know it's it's dark and everything, and I'm outside, and I just tend to have these you know, random things going on like, oh my God, you know, I'm scared, you know, I'm scared, mm. I'm scared, I'm scared. And then you really feel like something's behind you but then it could just be you. Exactly. Mm. Right? Because fear so, fear makes you imagine a lot of stuff. Ah, correct. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. True. Uh, we, we get a, I used to get a lot of cases like this. People think their house is haunted but actually it's not. It's just that, that it's their fear. Mm. Mm. The yeah. fear that consumes them. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Okay, we have, an, uh, we have a question here uh, mm-hmm. by Lee Juan. Any stories of black magic slash curse to share guys I think we have shared just now 
So mm. one of the curse that we are that that we shed uh, uh, in in the middle of our podcast is that uh, the curse of a sucker. Sucker is a Malay word translated as a form like I would say uh, ghost pet, right? The curse of keeping a ghost pet. So uh, and again, like we mentioned just now, it's not by choice; it's given. Yeah, and you can't reject that. Hmm. Okay, we have another question here by uh, by our viewer. What does it mean when we dream of ghosts? Uh, What does it mean? Okay, a lot of dreams. Dream of uh, it's like in your subconscious mind, so it's mm. like stuff you think about. Mm. Uh, mm. I don't. I I hardly dream because I I I learn to like kind of shut off my my like my mind like to so I have a clear mind before I sleep. But you ever mentioned before you dream of an old man, right? Yeah, but that's yeah. just because I went to, to the cremator- uh, crematorium. Crematorium, yeah. yeah. Uh, my wife, yeah, she has dreams like every day. It's very vivid, though. Like it's so oh, really? real. Yeah, it's very wow. real for her. Yeah. So um, I don't know, man. Um, dreams. I mean, there's so many ways to interpret mm, dreams. Mm. I, I I'm not good at it. Yeah. But if you you know if you dream of a loved one uh, that's passed on, I maybe it's a good thing, right? Yeah. True. true. Yeah. They want to pay you a visit. You mm, know. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. But what kind of ghost that this uh, viewer is uh, actually asking? I mean, we, probably we hope that you can enlighten, enlighten us with, with with your question. Yeah, yeah. I I do know of people that have told me that, you know, they they dream of this particular ghost, but it's mm. like almost every night. So I've had dreams like that before. Mm. Uh, sometimes it could be the other side trying to pass a message on. Mm. Yeah. Okay, we have a question here by Jacob Ja. Okay, is it harder to see Pontianak now? In Singapore, since there's so many HDB estates, which part in Singapore is most Pontia is where most Pontiana is found? Um, Kampung Wak Hasan. Um, wow, uh, really, that, bro? That, that's at Sembawang. Yeah, I mean, I I don't believe they exist, okay. but this is what people tell me. Uh, but Kampung Wak Hasan is really haunted. Yeah, yeah. And then there is this cemetery at Siglap, right? It's not. Um, it's not. I can never ever ever remember the name, mm. but it's if you guys can find out, it's next to HDB flats mm. and it's supposed to be, they call it the cemetery of the three princesses or something like that. Yeah. Oh, I, you, you I've, know heard, I've heard. I've yeah. heard. Uh, yeah, I, I've heard of this. Um, I think wow. it was a paranormal team. They tried to mm. call Search. on, call them okay. on. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 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 I mean, I I I've been there once mm. and uh, I didn't feel much. Yeah, you didn't feel honest. much because you don't get yourself in that uh, the zone. The zone. No, no, no. I was already just... already in that zone. This okay. was a few years ago. Mm. Yeah, but I didn't experience anything. Uh. I I thought that that mm. cemetery is quite peaceful. Mm. I see. Yeah. Okay, okay. We uh remember as now we have a question about the uh, dream of a ghost. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, is by Ch- Chin Da Siu. Uh, I mean he. he He mentioned here that uh, someone that I never see before, a strange woman that that he saw in his dream. Mm-hmm. So what does it mean when you see a strange woman, a stranger? What does it mean? Mm. What does this woman say in your dreams? Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. is this woman aggressive? Or is it a really a ghost? Or is it a really a a, a figure, a, a mm. human figure? Right? Yeah. We, we will not know. Um, mm. Yeah, especially dreams like this that affects a person. You will likely think about it just before you sleep again, mm. right? Like the next day, you go like, "Oh, I hope I don't get this dream." But then, yep. because it's really put it back in your mind, right? Yeah. And and our, our minds work when when we are asleep, uh, mm. subconsciously. Eh? Yeah. Yeah. So then you know that could be the 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 reason for these dreams. Mm. That that's just my take on it. Uh, I've had a friend. Uh, this one many years ago, lah. He mm. told me before that um, every Thursday night he would have a dream of uh, like this. Really ugly old woman, like you know, oh, ghostly lah, like, ghostly, and she would be towering over him, you know, and uh, the hair would be flowing down, and mm. she would be telling him, "You're gonna die." Oh man! Every Thursday night. Oh wow! Yeah, 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 yeah. I, This I, is I, for real, for real, for real. Yeah, it, many. Is he still ago. alive? Yeah. <laughs> okay, good. We, we want to invite his or her. He. He. Yeah, but I lost contact. So oh, many okay, years yeah, ago. I see. Never yeah, mind. Yeah. Time to get into contacts. <laughs> <laughs> is it? A, is it ex boyfriend? No, no, no. Okay. No, no, no. My, no. I, mean, I, I, I don't Old care. Old friends. That's what you say. I will not, not care. Will not care. <laughs> That's what you say. <laughs> okay, I have to read this uh, comment right uh, by Gaf Chu. Uh, sorry, 
Just now, where's the comment? Ah? Oh, by Chris Ho, sorry. By Chris Ho. Uh, hey, Chris. Chris Ho, the DJ Chris no, Ho. No, no, no. no, no. She, this, she's a very... Yeah, she's a oh, big supporter. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay, very, very okay. nice she's supporter. always with sure. us every Friday. Yeah, she brought us a lot, lot of coffees, oh, man. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So Chris Ho mentioned, Indra performs much better with his wife by his side. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. I am a positive uh, inspiration. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah I, I think having your wife here is good. You should come every Friday. Like It keeps you in check. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah, really, really. It's keep, to to your benefit. Keep me grounded, is it? Yeah. I I guess no, no, so. Not grounded, it keeps so. you in check. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Gav Chu said that, uh, I love you guys. Awesome podcast every Friday. Thank you so much. Thank you. Gav Chu. Okay, uh, I think uh, we have, one, okay, one last, one last, one last comment here by Daniel Ali. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, I think a very long comment. Let me read it. Uh, hey GFS, I would like to tell you a short story of me and my friends. First ghost adventure. So yeah. me and my friends was planning on a place f- uh, to go for a ghost adventure and we choose Perry Primary School. So I, we okay. went there, but in the end, my friend Naufal left, uh, felt super uncomfortable due to the size of the place. And so I was like, Alama, I really wanted to go there, Naufal. I keep it short. So we were walking past to the private houses. Suddenly, one of our friend, who is a girl named City, lost her EasyLink card where it was placed on her phone clearly on her hand. Disappeared out of the blue. Wow. Okay. Okay. Um, my, my question is, mm. you were at uh, Perry Primary School, why didn't mm. you go to the Japanese cemetery that is in Nearby. the area? Yeah, very mm. near. Mm. Yeah. Wow. I've never heard of this primary school. Perry, P-E-R-R-Y. Yeah, yeah. it's P-R-R-R-Y. near yeah. Rangoon Gardens. Oh, mm. so it's abandoned lah. It's abandoned already. I actually have no idea. Ah, okay. Mm. Oh, there's a cemetery there. Yeah. I see. Okay. Actually, we have a few more questions. Eh? Are you ready for all the questions? Okay, then, then we wrap it up okay. because it's almost 11.15. Okay. We have gone like Way over. Okay, yeah. <laughs> let's go. Okay, uh, this is solely for our lovely uh, viewers and fans out there. Okay, uh, they ask you a very uh, legit question here. Uh, uh, Hantu Bros, uh, shall we have a members meetup session soon? Either on Zoom or in person next month or so? Sure, sure. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah we will definitely arrange something like soon. Hmm. Sure, definitely for our uh, viewers out there who supports our content, we will definitely do something for you all. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, they have a few more here. Uh, what is the YouTube to watch for the real ghost adventure now? Huh? GFS. <laughs> GFS. Okay. Uh, GFS. Yeah. Ghost file, Singapore. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So... Thank you, Shema, for coming down yeah, to man. Pleasure, our... Yeah, man. Pleasure. And, and thank you for <laughs> agreeing... Fun, fun. Thank you for agreeing to come on the show every Friday. Oh. Yeah, just, just, just be in, in this studio. Uh, you don't, don't have to talk if you don't want to. Just be here because he's a lot, he's, he's a lot better when you're around. <laughs> 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 Never mind, it's okay. So I, the positive is from me, la, actually, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> whatever, like whatever rock your boat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, thank you so much for our viewers for tuning in uh, uh, from uh, for, for, for our podcast uh, Haunted Hour and for those who appreciate our content. Please, please do not forget. I'm pointing to the link up above right now. Right? Yeah. Please uh, buy us a coffee at www.buymeacoffee.com slash GFS TV. That's right. That's right. Okay, so um, on that note, uh, we shall see wrap you. up. See you, show. see you guys next week. Yeah, we'll see you all next week. So I'm your lovely host, Indra Sahib. And I'm your host who is not colorblind. My name is Noah Boyd. <laughs> and our guest? Shema Alkaw. Yeah. Yay. See you guys next week. See you next week. Bye. Bye-bye.